things you missed in the new White House update in Brookhaven. Okay, this is going to be kind of surprising because I know a lot of people probably missed this or don't even realize this is possible or in the new White House update because we actually got two updates. Two updates. We got the White House update and then we got a little mini update after that, which just f happened yesterday, actually. And this update was basically to remove the Easter egg hunt of 2024. As you guys know, you will probably notice whenever we got the White House update, we still had it for a couple days and now it is officially gone. So you might be wondering, okay, this is... You you might have missed this because guys I joined in today and I didn't even realize it at first it took me a little bit to be like whoa they actually removed this what about the vehicles what about everything in between well this is your one-stop video for everything you might have missed in the White House update it's gonna get crazy because so guys hit the like button like spike this video up to the heavens guys let's see how many of you people out there watching right now can come together and hit the like button and how many likes we can truly accumulate on this video because I'm really excited and I think we're gonna be able to collect a lot of likes possibly we might be able to break some records so let's try to break some records here for a new Brookhaven update and guys like I said I think the updates are only gonna get better going throughout the f whole year so let's talk about the elephant in the room the Easter egg hunt the hunt is now over in Roblox and the Easter egg hunt of 2024 and Brookhaven is also over. So, what does this mean? Well, that means all the Easter themed and everything is now gone till next year. And usually that also means the vehicles are also gone. But you might be thinking, why are the vehicles still here? Well, this is also something that you probably missed. You can actually keep the vehicles for another week or two till the next Brookhaven update, okay? So the White House updates here. Now, whenever Brookhaven updates again next time, these vehicles will finally be removed. This is a very courtesy-based thing that Wolfpack can do. You know, yes, the Easter egg hunts are not here, but now we all have these vehicles for free that we can play and use and still enjoy for the remainder of another week or two. Now, that is absolutely terrific, guys. I love it. We can get the hunt vehicle. You get this vehicle, obviously, from completing the hunt event and obtaining the badge in Brookhaven, but this is still available, and you can still use this as well, alongside all the other things. Now, I don't think now you have to have had the extreme egg hunts or anything completed. I don't think that's a possibility or something that's a necessity now uh, i believe everybody even if you didn't complete the extreme hunt i think you can still use the extreme hunt vehicle right here i think you now even if you weren't able to complete the hunt although we had guides up on it it, it would have been easy if you followed them um now we have this right so boom this is what it is now everybody can use the awesome alien technology laser beams as they go throughout Brookhaven right now. Um, so this is definitely something that I missed in the White House update. You know, a little bit afterwards, this kind of showed up and I was like, oh my God, who would have knew? So yeah, that's something to know. And I thought that was a very big thing to know because that's pretty much like a free vehicle update for the time being. You guys can just use and utilize and enjoy that, which I think is absolutely terrific. And uh, now if we come up here to the actual White House, that's where all the goods at, right? The White House is super interesting full of all kinds of surprises and everything in between. So if we come up here, though, we will let it load in. The presidential White House is absolutely amazing. And, uh, well, let's talk about some of the features of this White House. Of course, you probably realize you have your private helicopter pad. There's no presidential helicopter or anything that can be used. But still, it is pretty cool that we get our own private helicopter pad. We also got a pool. Don't forget, you can activate the jacuzzi and use it and activate different color variations of it. That's kind of nice as well. It also changes the whole cool color of the pool. We got a nice little area over there. Now, I do want to address that. Yes, of course, you might have missed the safe location. But just in case you didn't, you go behind the statue and you click it. And then that allows you to see everything in here, right? So, boom. Okay, so that's the, that's the safe location right here behind this. You just press this. We've already got videos on that of course but still thought it was worth mentioning now if you come over here and set at this you will see there's some crazy top secret looking stuff on the uh, on the uh, little computer screen here now i don't know what this means or what it really entails it does look different than our normal ones that we see so perhaps it's just a placeholder for the computer here but still it's very interesting to see that and then if we come over here and press this we can obviously change not just to the agency white house but we can change through very other very variable jobs that you might have even criminal and uh, you can change through it like so look at that that's pretty amazing right so that's a cool feature i always like to go to the agency one just because it's like what the white house and the agency is connected in some crazy Easy way apparently it is so obviously there's also hiding places in the chimney so don't forget about that you can hide in the chimneys that's always kind of cool uh, we can hide in the chimneys here and up here as well now people were saying there was a secret room behind this chimney that you fall into 
Um, like if you jump up here, you're able to fall into a secret agency meeting room. Now I've not yet been able to activate that or find that. And I don't know if it is real or you guys are just trolling me on that one. Uh, could be the case, could be a troll. But uh, if I keep messing around and I find a secret agency meeting room in the White House, I will let you guys know. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of different variety paintings around here. Nothing too unusual there. Um, but uh, if we come up here, of course, you guys know, if you sit at the presidential desk here, you can press this, and it brings out some weird buttons. That seems so pressable. But um, basically, guys, I went into in-depth about these buttons, how to use them, and what they may do in another video that was uploaded yesterday. So I'm not going to go too detailed into that in this video, uh, just because it's not really the fitting place for it. So go watch that one if you want to know more about the red buttons. But that is there as well. So allegedly, the secret down below in the kitchen chimney was you press the red button and then you have to have the agency White House enabled and then you come down here and you're able to jump in here. Um, so yeah, I, I couldn't get it to work though, so I don't know. If you guys know any secrets or things that I missed, then be sure to post it in the comment section below or if you capture some crazy evidential stuff, you can also tweet it my way on Twitter. So right here we have, of course, enabling child furniture. You know, that's right, that's right, you can do that. That's kind of cool. This is where all your commands are gonna be, okay? So um, we have the disaster pack, we can turn aliens on. So the White House has been invaded by aliens. Look at this dude. That White House has been fully invaded by aliens. This is absolutely crazy, dude. Who's going to tell them that they're not allowed to do that? They're not allowed to do that. Oh, my God, dude. What are they going to do to the president? I'm the president. Wait a second. This isn't good. Turn the aliens off. We don't want that. So, yeah, you can do a lot of cool things with the disaster pack. And the fact that that is made available in the White House is cool. There's no restrictions. You could just go crazy. You have zombies tearing down the White House. Like a full-out zombie apocalypse is now even possible with role plays. It's so much fun. It's so much cool stuff why is the color changing there you see that what is that do you guys see the color of that changing that was wait it's still doing it i don't know maybe it's something to do with the time of day it must definitely be the time of day okay well, let's just change it that was kind of creepy i was like dude i didn't enable oh yeah and that also goes on to say guys you can also enable ghost so huh ghost that seems a little scary so yeah who knew the white house might have some ghosts of past presidents or something i don't know could be a could be a valuable thing yeah uh, it is very interesting right so um uh, here's the thing that i think would also be cool guys imagine like a private jet or something on the top of the white house that you can land or something you know we have a, a we have the red button which would enable and activate the military base of states missiles uh we know that is a thing but having like a jet or something as well that we could just fly right at the the white house dude that would be absolutely crazy right so uh, there, there's a couple cool things that we could be seeing coming into the future, but we also know that the White House now, since we can summon the agency, and we know the agency is really directly connected to the mayor, most likely, the agency has a lot of high people and high power connected to them still to this day, even though Marcus is trying to get down to the bottom of it. But if the president is part of the agency, I don't really know what can be done, if I'm being honest with you guys. So, um... There, we went over most of that. Uh, the disaster packs. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys another hiding place up here. So if we come up here, uh, this is also something that you can uh, enable. You come up here, you can press this. It allows you to go on the roof. And then you can come over here and jump in this. Now, this is a pretty good hiding place. Nobody can see you up here and you can hide. It's a great, it's a great, it's great. I absolutely love it. So on top of that, though, we also have this that you can jump down. And it looked like I was able to almost stand on something there. And you can dive into the pool from here, which is kind of cool. Or you could just sit here and relax and enjoy a margarita. I don't know what the president does on his off day. So I don't even think he gets an off day, honestly. But yeah, <laughs> that'd be the case. Maybe for some golfing. Uh, good golfing every now and then, right? You can also close and open the gate here. Uh, uh, not really a feature I see most people enthused about, but also guys, don't forget, I did show this in a secret video that you can glitch cars in the White House. Now, this is absolutely just, it's off the wall bonkers. I, I'm going to agree, but you can glitch pretty much any car you desire in the White House and all of the rooms, even upstairs. I, I, I kid you guys not. Um, it is possible. So like, it really depends on the car you want to glitch in there. We can spawn a small egg mobile. Uh, but honestly, dude, there's no limits. You could spawn a, uh, a big egg mobile too. Actually, it's not going to let me drive this thing up here. Are you serious, dude? Why is it not letting me even drive it up in there? Okay. Well, whatever. This thing has awful. Okay. Let's try a truck with bigger wheels. How about that? Um, let's see here. Okay. 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 Uh, I've seen countless semi trucks glitched in there. That's for sure. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try a Hummer, dude. This thing is huge though. This thing is very big. I don't know. Okay, yeah, no problem. It's going to go in there. 
See, the door is open. We just got to get it sh more straight. And we're in. We are in, guys. I'm trying to get it up the stairs. See, up the stairs, dude. So now we just do this. Oh, my God, dude. This is going to be crazy. We keep doing this, and sometimes it glitches you into different parts of the house. Now, we got a Hummer in, like, the living room quarters of the house. That's a thing now. And you can just keep glitching as many vehicles that you could possibly spawn in here. And uh, I think that's kind of fun, too. You might have missed that little feature because it's just a funny little glitch feature. But, yeah, there you guys have it. Some things you might have missed in the update. I probably missed one or two, but if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one.